Okay, okay, time to lock in, time to lock in. Listen, Bleach, Rebirth of Souls just dropped not one, not two, but three character trailers. Ichigo, Rukia, and Uryu. And apparently they explained some of the mechanics in the game a little bit better for some people that were having some uh, some confusion before. So we just go lock in and we, we watching all three of them. Just We go watch all three of them, one, to break them down. And two, just to see what they talk about with the mechanics. But I also want to see how Rukia will be going to play. I feel like we've seen a lot of uh, uh, Ichigo so far, to be honest. Ooh. Uh, ooh, special action. I, I might pause this. I might pause it just to read it, not going to lie to you. Reverse. Reverse action is the key to offense and defense in this game. In addition to the effects of the normal reverse action, Ichigo is given various enhancements, such as a boost in basic performance, changes in some actions, and increase in damage from the Kikon move. Okay, okay. Special flash attack. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let it play and I'm gonna go back and rewind it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let it play and go back and rewind it. Alright. Bro, I just, oof, I love when Johnny popped the ball guy, bro. But Johnny, Johnny, yo, bro, oof. I damage the opponent easy to handle. Alright. We gonna run this back. We gonna run it back. We gonna run it back. I feel we gonna have to run back both trailer, like every character trailer, about twice. So it's alright. I just love what Johnny Abar says. The fucking Barkai, bro. That shit. Ah. That shit hit different. Very powerful and resourceful substance. Okay. So they basically say Ichigo is like the basic character. Like he's over the easy one again. We already a reverse action. Special flash attack, a move that attacks while charging forward. When successfully executed, the attack can be continued and an additional input is made during the attack. So it's like a Rekka. It's like a Rekka or a Flurry. Okay. Spiritual pressure move, wielding. An attack used by wielding Zang... Whoa, <laughs> reading comprehension, hello. <laughs> an attack used by wielding Zangetsu that momentarily takes Ichigo invincible. That momentarily makes Ichigo invincible. Okay. An additional powerful attack is activated when it successfully hits. So it's like a DP. They gave that boy a DP. <laughs> what are we doing? Ooh, ooh. I'm not losing. Awakening overturn the tide of battle. Ichigo's performance, speed, and defense dramatically increases, as well as the number of traditional special flash attacks, allowing for more aggressive attacks to be carried out. Okay, so when he popped Bomb Kai, it's just W key. That's, that's basically what they say. <laughs> just, just go crazy, W key. Ooh, ooh. The mask? Okay, well, what gets. Okay, what gets. I want to know what gets, like, half hollow Ichigo to. Like, what gets the broken mass to pop out? You know? It, Cause, can he go awakening again? I would assume so. Like, what causes this? I would assume so. either, like... There's gotta be either an ultimate, or, like, he has, like, another awakening. Cause, technically, you can go, like, awakening and Bankai before you get to your last stock of health. But I don't know if you can, like... I guess depending on the character, you could do it again, but I don't, I don't know. I need to know, I need to know how to, how, how half hollow works on him. But it seems to be the same character. It's not a different, like, different version of Ichigo. That's a dope ass shot of him, like, a lot. I want to go back to the reverse action for a second, just, just because, like, it's still, it's not weird. Like, I understand. Like, it's basically what I said it was in the last video I made, in the last breakdown I made. It's like, it gives you uh, and it's like a way to break out of a combo kind of but it also like enhances it might enhance some characters moves give some characters maybe some super armor in some areas get them some like like it's basically saying everything i said it was so like i kind of was right in the basis of like it's basically like an all-out enhancement of your character you might get different actions you might get different moves your speed might depending on who your character is so i guess it's different for every character so 
this was the most confusing thing for me. Everything else was basically like them just showing off his special moves, which is cool. Ichigo right now, he's like I what they're trying to tell people is like he's the the obvious go to if you're trying to just pick it up the game, easy to handle, easy to go into and to go into the game and mash W key whatever you gotta do, and you know you'll be alright. Which that's Ichigo's play style. <laughs> that's just Ichigo's fighting style. He just W keys regardless. So you know it is what it is. But um yeah we go into the rookie trailer now and we go see what's popping over there. All right, y'all, we got the Rukia trailer pulled up. As you can see, we about to see what Ruby Girl Rukia hitting on. I'm kind of excited because I'm really, I'm really interested to see what they do with her moves. So Rukia, as far as I don't like Jump Force, Rukia is pretty fun in Jump Force. I'm not going with you. Kind-hearted Soul Reaper with the old-fashioned. Okay. The summaries is moving by hella fast. But we gonna let it be. Ooh, ooh, signature move. I'm going to let this one play out just like I did with the, with the Ichigo when it come back. Yakirai, okay. Sokatsui. Ooh, ooh. Okay, pod, okay. Ooh, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like how she said that. <laughs> I don't like how she said that. <laughs> now, Ruki and see, like, she gonna be like a little. a mix between like a, a, zone, a zoner and like a up close, like. Rukia see like she gonna be like a mix between a zoner and like a up close character, like an up close like flurry character. A kind hearted soul reaper with an old fashioned way of speaking. She has plenty of resources to adapt her opponent in battle. I can see that. She out here just <laughs> I will you here. She could keep you at range, she could come through, pull up on you if she want to. Alright, signature move. Shakaho. Oh, how number thirty one, Shakaho. Creates a com create combos in various forms of power. With the shaka hole by holding the input. So she has different levels to it. Ooh. Okay. How to number four, Byakurai. Released while stepping backward. Byakurai uh, makes Rukia momentarily invincible, allowing for punishing attacks. So has everybody got an invincible special? <laughs> This is, it's, it's looking like everybody might have an invincible special. Ichigo got one, Rukia got one, but Rukia is just like a beam. Like, <laughs> you got an invincible beam, shorty? Relax, what are we doing? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, uh, Rukia went invincible, allowing for punished attacks. All right, cool. Ooh, the movement though. Uh, Hado number 33, Sokatsui, a follow-up attack that we that can be used after Rukia lunges and slashes successfully. Ooh. Ooh. I also want to go back and look at the actual movement of the game, like while they're walking and stuff. <laughs> mm. Releasing Shikai, so there no Shirayuki, uh, strengthens Rukia's overall capabilities and transforms her spiritual pressure moves to complement so there no Shirayuki. Okay. I want to watch this one more time just because I feel like she's I want to look at the movement more so than the moves because I feel like she's moving a lot more than Ich Ichigo got a lot of moves that just carry him forward so it don't you don't really get to see the movement of the game a lot I kind of want to see because I saw some sidestepping and stuff in there so I want to know uh, I'm gonna pay more attention. Uh, the walking seems a little no slow, idea. but there's like side steps and stuff in there. But I don't know if it's character dependent too. But the it seems like they walk in a little, they run in a little slow at each other. So. But the fact that they do have sidestep, it's like, it depends on what you can cancel the sidesteps. It's like, can you cancel the sidesteps in the jump? Can you cancel them into other moves? Stuff like that. So, depending on how that works out, we could be straight. Because movement, when it comes to arena fighters, is basic. It's everything. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's make or break for a lot of these games. So, I'm hoping it feels good. It was looking a little slow to me in those clips, but hopefully that's just like a character thing. Like Reggie does have a big sword. He's not like the fastest, you know, Rukia, as you can see, she's already like a, uh, she looks like a zoner type, like a, a more stationary, but she can come in if she wants to. 
So hopefully if we see a trailer of like someone like Yodoichi or something and, and we see her like zooming, it'll be like a character dependent thing. You know what I'm saying? Because they did say in an article that a lot of the characters is like some of them are pow more power focused, some are more speed focused, stuff like that. So hopefully that um we get to see a little bit more of that. But I, I like what I'm saying so far. I like how how I'm not gonna lie, it's looking like everybody's gonna have an invincible move. So hopefully there's a way to get around them in a that's not like that doesn't make them too egregious because I could already tell that could be like an annoying thing for some people. Especially Ichigo's little helicopter spin with the sword, which he ain't ever do. That was that was that was fucking uh hollow Ichigo not hollow Ichigo, Zangetsu, the actual Zangetsu that did that, but we gonna see. Uh we got one more trailer, we got Uriu, so we gonna go get we gonna go hop into that real quick. Alright, y'all we back. Uriu's trailer is here. Let's see what we cooking with. I'm not gonna I don't remember the name of any of Uriu's moves just because they was a whole bunch of uh, German stuff and I I did not know how to pronounce them. Proud Quincy. Now That's then, all you need to know. Let's begin. This is Okay. I was, I was about to say, but this is Uryu after he got his powers back, if I'm not mistaken, so that's interesting. Alright. Obviously, he's his owner. Ooh. Okay, Uryu. Ooh, he got a parry? Okay. Okay, Uryu, you might be cooking with some. He's awakening. Like I said, we go pop it and read after you know, yo, who do you move? Yeah, see, who do you moving? Who do you moving? Okay. But he still got this that that's crazy. That's his old. Okay, who do you? Okay, I see you moving, who do you? See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about with the rookie video. Some characters is more speed focused, some is more Uryu got that sh movement on him. I see it. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. We gonna go back. We gonna go back. I like these little assets they got flashing on the screen. A proud Quincy who pierces his enemies using a variety of long range attacks. Say that, say that. Now then. Let's begin. Oh, well. Pause it to him. All right, spiritual pressure move one. Quincy arrow fires an arrow forward. If the arrow hits the opponent, Uryu uses uh, Hiren Kyaku to move in to move in front of the opponent and does a follow-up attack that fires numerous arrows. Okay. Boom. Okay, so he got he got like it's kind of like a stance, but not really. It's like. It sets him up for some combo stuff. It, I could definitely see Uryu being like a very... Uh, if you've ever played Persona 4 Arena, like a Yukari type, you know, or she 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 has a lot of arrow combos, um, a lot of setup moves from the arrows, a lot of stuff like that. So I could see her being something like that, especially with the movement he has. is very reminiscent of, of, of Yukari too. Um, spiritual Pressure Move 2, uh, Selen Schneider, or Selen Schneider. Uh, by holding Sela Schneider, Uryu absorbs an opponent's attack and fires back a powerful attack of his own. Okay. Like I said, a parry, which is basically his invincible move. Like I said, Ichigo got one, Rukia got one. Uryu has one now, but it's just a parry. They're just not saying it's invincible. I guess you could probably grab it if there is throws in this game, which I would assume there are. First fate. I won't hold back. His awakening. What's his awakening? Wait, by activating Ronso Tengai, Uryu enhances his damage output and the amount of spiritual power he can acquire, making it easier to use his spiritual pressure move. Oh, so he just gains more meter. <laughs> I guess because cause how uh, Quincy's work, they absorb the ratio around them. Yeah, they absorb all the ratio around them to, to gain, uh, to make their, their ratio arrows more powerful or make their moves more powerful. So that makes sense. He just gains uh, energy or periodically over time. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nah, go back. Why well, look like each each go was stuck? That boy. Uh uh. You see the freeze? Nah, that boy each go was stuck. He just had to hold that. That's stage two. Quincy, let's steal. <laughs> oh. There's a movie to use against Mayori. Strong with range attacks that can be performed 
unilaterally. I've never heard of that word. <laughs> to keep opponents at bay. Okay. Uryu. See, Uryu, I like, I like this trailer because it's showing me a little bit more of, like, how movement could be. I don't know how I feel about, like, like what he did at the end there where he was, like, hitting Ichigo with the arrows and he Ichigo was just stuck. I don't know how I feel about that. Because, like, if there's no way to actually get out of a lot of these combos and stuff. Or, like, once you're in there, I guess it's one of them things where, like, um... If you're out of your, your defensive options, maybe. But also, like, I don't know how the defensive options work on range characters. You know, like, Uryu's a straight range character. I don't know. Because you see how Ichigo's, like, right? Ichigo's just stuck here. He's not even, like, falling. He's just, like, in place. <laughs> He's not falling. He's just stuck in place. But I like how it's at least showing you, like... I like how it's at least showing you like what movement could be like for certain characters and I think that's what I think that's what mo what's most important for me personally like obviously you could tell a lot of the characters gonna feel different like Ruki is gonna feel different from Ichigo, Ichigo is gonna feel different from Uryu, Uryu is gonna feel different from from Byakuya so on you know this then the third so I like that portion every character is gonna feel different every character is gonna be f from what I'm seeing every character looks for the most part faithful to what they used and what they do in the actual show like Ichigo all about going in head first especially that version of Ichigo that's early Ichigo he's all about going in head first straight W keying on his opponents is what it is he does think during battle he does use a lot of finesse sometimes but he's amazingly straightforward run at you W key that's that's a, that's early Ichigo Rukia for a lot of fights we see Rukia in she is the hado person she's the one that that drops a lot of the the hados a lot of the the you know the, the spiritual pressure moves and stuff like that so that's what they represent in her gameplay she's more of a range type she uses all that and then she pops her she pops her her, um, her shikai and she just starts spamming shikai moves that's literally all rukia does <laughs> that's all she does so it's like okay but and and uryu here obviously they shown a lot of the finesse he has with his arrows like he does have a lot of finesse when he shoots them he has a lot of finesse when he's do you know because he, he has pride in himself he takes it serious so i like that what the only thing I'm worried about is how the actual game is going to play out when it comes to certain characters and how you can get out of certain things, how you can get out of certain combos and stuff like that. But I'm going to have to get the game in my hands for myself to see that. But for right now, I'm messing with everything I'm seeing. I'm liking everything I'm seeing for the most part. Obviously, I have some gripes, but can't fully go into those until I get the game for myself. So, yeah, but... I'm hyped, man. I, I'm loving what they're doing with this game so far. I want to see a little bit more of the defensive side of the game, how that plays out. I feel like that's that's what I need to see. How, how does the defensive side of this play out? How does the movement really feel for everybody? Like, I seem, I'm i seeing glimpses of it with Uryu. I'm seeing glimpses of it with Rukia, the sidestep, stuff like that. So, it's not just straight. It's not going to be straight buns. There's, there's movement in the game. So, I like that. But, yeah, y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it in the comment section down below, though. Who... Out of these three characters, who do you think looks like the, the best to you? Who do you think looks the most flashy, looks stylish? Who do you like the most? Or, matter of fact, let me know who you, you are hoping to see a trailer of in the future. Me, personally, I want to see my girl Yodoichi. I want to see my boy Kisuke. And that's pretty much it. You know, I'm, I'm going to be making a roster prediction video soon, so stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the conversation down below. If all I mean, say that's going to be from me, and I'm out. So, boy. Oh, 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 oh,